Welcome back everybody, today we're gonna learn how to send your entire project from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve to do some coloring magic there and bring it back to Premiere Pro. And you're probably gonna say, why in the world did I need to send my footage to DaVinci Resolve to do some coloring there? I can just color grade in Premiere Pro and it's just fine. Yes, it's true, but you need to know also that DaVinci Resolve is the most advanced software when it comes to color grading and is the standard for cinema and for colorist artists. So if you are interested to know how, make sure to stick around till the end because you're gonna learn a lot. Let's start this tutorial. So the first thing that we're gonna do is open up Premiere Pro. I have some footage in here. Before we send anything to DaVinci Resolve is to make sure that to keep everything simple without any effects or transition. The reason for that is Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve are two different softwares. To avoid problems and errors, we need to keep the timeline as minimal as possible. The only reason why we're gonna send our timeline from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve is for the color grading purpose. After that, we can bring back our photos to Premiere Pro. Then, if you need, you can add the effects and transition however you want. Before we're gonna send anything, let's make sure that the timeline is very simple. So, I'm gonna delete the adjustment layer and those cross fade effects to keep the timeline as minimal as possible. So once we have the timeline selected, head over to the file, export and choose Final Cut Pro XML. Then you're gonna select the location and give it a name, let's say Premiere Pro to DaVinci. Click on create and save. Then we're gonna open up DaVinci Resolve. Create a new project and name it DaVinci to Premiere and click on create. And before we're gonna do anything, we need to go to the project setting and match the sequence that we have in Premiere Pro. In this case, my frame rate in Premiere Pro was 25, so I'm gonna change it to 25. Hit save and you good to go. Then what we need to do is we need to go to the file, import timeline and import XML. Click on the file and hit OK. And just like that, we have the timeline in DaVinci Resolve. Let's go to the color grading tab. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do some quick coloring and I'm gonna see you in a bit. So I just finished a quick color grading just for the sake of this video and what we need to do now is we need to send back our footage from DaVinci Resolve to Premiere Pro. And the way that we're gonna do that is go into the deliver tab. Let's choose Premiere Pro XML and now what I usually do is I'm gonna choose the highest quality possible and the way that I'm gonna do that is by choosing Apple ProRes 42HQ and after that let's go to the advanced setting and, and make sure that force sizing to highest quality and force divider to the highest quality is checked and let's add at least 30 frames handle and what's that gonna do is it will render for us more frames on each side of the clip so if you wanna stretch the clip or cut it out you will be having that option as well and now we're gonna add that to the render queue and and we're gonna save it to the same folder that we created before we're gonna start rendering now what DaVinci Resolve is doing is is rendering all the timeline as a graded clips so when you send them back to Premiere Pro you will find them as colored sequence so now everything is rendered out what we need to do now is go to the Premiere Pro and Go to the sequence folder, create a new bin and name it DaVinci to Premiere and double click on it. Click right and import. We're going to select the XML file that we just exported from DaVinci Resolve. Uh, what we need to do is bring all those files and the music into that bin. Let's look for the sequence in here and double click on it. As you can see, this is the color graded sequence and, and if you play that, everything is graded, everything is good. That means everything was done properly. So, and the benefit from those 30 frames handle that we talked about previously is you can extend any clips in the timeline because DaVinci Resolve has rendered out more 30 frames on each side of any clip in the timeline. That's also useful if you wanna add transitions or effects so you don't wanna bring back any clips and it back to Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve and do the process again, so you're welcome. That's it for this video guys, hope you like it, I hope that was useful, if you want to see color grading tutorial or anything, let me know in the comments below and I hope you're having a great day and 